When I got the phone call telling me that the biopsies were positive and I had breast cancer, not only in one breast, but in both, of course, that's shocking news. And I thought, okay, how am I going to tell the rest of the gang this? So what I did, of course, I told my husband in person and he was shocked. And I remember thinking, well, I have to be strong for him. <laughs> So I didn't get real emotional when I told him. I just said, you know what? I am not the first woman to go through this. And then I told my son, who was 12 going on 13 at the time, and that was a little more shocking. It was more important for me to tell him that mom was going to be okay and that I wasn't the only woman in the world. And this was not something that uh, was not unfortunately common with a lot of women these days. Then I made an awkward call, which was to my mom. For the rest of my very close friends, I wrote an email. And I did that to uh, give them a chance to absorb the information and not just react to me on the phone. Also, I didn't want to have seven different conversations on the phone. I wanted to put into the email everything that I already knew because I did a little research before I actually put together the email. And I... I guess I reassured them that I was still going to be the strong, proactive woman and friend that they knew and that I could use any support they wanted to give me. And I sent it late at night. So I didn't want to make them feel, oh, they just got this email at two o'clock in the afternoon and now their whole day is thrown off. Or did they have to immediately respond? So I sent it late at night. So they would get it at some point the next day. Some people responded right away. Some people picked up the phone and called me, which was fine. Some people didn't respond for a few days. And of course, I didn't know whether they just hadn't received the email or they were still thinking through how they wanted to respond. So for me, it was the best way to let a, a large number of people know. And then I had a very dear friend, Laura, who put together... Uh, a way that she would let everybody else know how I was doing. So I didn't have to tell everybody I knew at the same time. People who were interested could touch base with her, and she would fill them in on doctor's appointments and things like that. But initially, I used technology, and I sent an email, and it worked out to be probably uh, the best for me and for them. Do you know that not every breast cancer patient needs chemotherapy? Now there's a way to decide if chemotherapy will benefit you based on the unique biology of your tumor. To learn more about the Oncotype DX test and how to discuss it with your doctor, click this button.